Hi, Peter Charles here, Folks for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do uh, a funny little fly, uh, which some people are calling the Frenchie, or it's a style of fly. Uh, and it's basically the North American equivalent of the Perdigon, uh, with a couple of wrinkles. So I'm doing kind of my own version today. I'm calling it the Red Lion. I mean, when we were vaca vacationing in England, uh, we had uh, a lunch at the Red Lion in, uh, in the city of London. So it kind of tickled my fancy that we're using Coq de Lyon in this one, and so it would be a, the Red Lyon instead of the Red Lion. Anyway, uh, let's get started and look at the materials. My hook is a size 4, a Hanak uh, jig hook. My bead is a, a 3.2 millimeter, and it's going to be uh, this nickel, uh, black nickel. My thread is 60 knot vivas, and it's a nice kind of moss green. My tail is a uh, speckled uh, coctelion. The rib is uh, a red copper wire, uh, and this is a uh, um, small. Uh, you don't, because size of this fly, you don't want to be using a medium wire, it's just too thick. And lastly, I'm gonna put some of this hot orange um, SLF on it for, uh, for a little bit of um, uh, hackling, for, not hackling, sorry, a, bit, a little bit of a thorax. Give it a little bit of flash. Okay, let's get started here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my wire underneath. And I'm going to wind back and just keep the wire on the bottom. Stop it there. Now we're going to put just a few barbs of our speckled coctelion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the uh, ends of it in place. And very carefully wind them down. Of course, there's always one that doesn't want to behave. Because you see here, our thread is the body. So we want a neat body. And we're going to follow the uh, Pertigon pattern of building up a bit of a taper. If your tail moves, fix it. There we go, we got one straight here. I think I'll try to, that one doesn't behave well, we can get rid of it. There we go, we got a good taper going there. Now we're gonna put on our wire. I like to use a rotary vise for this job. And we'll come around. There we go. We get our five turns in there. Now, normally you would try to twist it off, but I don't have the thumbs for that anymore. So I'm just going to come in here and trim it as close as I can to the, uh, the, the bead. There we go. That's pretty neat. Now the next step is to put on some uh, UV glue and I like to use a toothpick for this so I just take my UV glue what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of UV glue on the toothpick to get off the brush on on the uh, actual applicator and I'll take my time putting this on because you don't want a build-up of this glue. You 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 want to be able to see the segmentation from the wire. And if you put too much on, you don't get that. So you can be very controlled with this. So I just turned it around 
making sure it's and if you got feel like you've got too much I just use the uh, dry part of the toothpick to take some off there we go that's pretty good then we'll just come in with our UV torch And finally, we're going to add our little bit of our uh, hot orange. And this is just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. You don't want to overdo this. Now we're going to whip finish. And finally, I've got this thicker loon with the nice applicator. And I'm going to come in here and just put a little drop on that gap in the um, bead. And again, if you get too much, that's what toothpicks are for. Take a little bit of this off. It's the beauty of UV, UV glue. You can manage it like this. So what that does do is it traps the... Uh, the hair, the SLF I should say, it'll trap the, the thread, uh, keep everything in place, and uh, that's a little bit of durability to, the, uh, to where I've wound that SLF. Here we go, my Red Leon, my Frenchie. Uh, simple fly, uh, and you can knock these together quite quickly. Uh, I've taken my time with this one, but I mean, if I was tying a bunch of these to go fishing, they'd be done in a hurry, trust me. And uh, there'll be a durable fly with all that UV glue on it. That'll that'll really hang in there uh, from multiple fish. So uh, I think it'd be quite effective. That little bit of SLF gives it a little bit of flash, and I'll get a little bit of movement out of it. And, uh, yeah, give it a try. Cheers.